Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. We'll get you caught up on the day's high temperatures. Not too exciting there, upper 50s, low 60s. Cloud cover was coming in, so started off with sunshine and then the uh, mid and high level clouds starting to make their way over. You can see them off to our south. And the Central Valley still plagued with the Thule fog. Yeah, Merced uh, down to Fresno. Another damp and cold day. Just that heavy overcast and uh, just the thick fog, man. It, it can get dangerous out there, too. That's starting to mix out, thankfully. And here's that system off to our south. We may end up with a sprinkle or a passing shower tomorrow, maybe in the Salinas Valley. But the main system that we're really tracking is the cold front, which is well off the coast right now. Uh, so here's a couple of systems, one down to our south. That's kind of making its way over us right now. Here's your cold front, and then there's another area of low pressure way out here. Uh, so it's an active period really in the in the North Pacific right now. But the question is, how much are we really going to do in terms of rainfall? That's what we really want to know. Uh, and at this point, uh, systems are certainly looking a little weaker than they did about three or four days ago. Tomorrow we have the overcast coming up. We have that now, so we'll continue with that through the day tomorrow. And uh, we may see again a passing shower. We're going to zoom in on this in a minute, but this gives you the overall feel. Rain starting to make its way into California on Christmas Day around noon, but this is still up to our north right now. Most of our areas should remain dry until the late afternoon or evening. There you go at 6 p.m. This moves through rather quickly, so it's an overnight thing, evening, Friday through about Saturday morning, and then most of that is done. Saturday ends up being dry, and the next system really isn't until Sunday. Clouds and wind will get some south breeze out of this. You see the overcast. This is tomorrow. You also notice just a hint of maybe a, a patchy shower, mist, drizzle, whatever you want to call it. Could be a little bit of wet uh, down in the Salinas Valley. It really could happen anywhere, but again, you can see most of it's just cloud cover tomorrow. Friday, though, uh, the rain starts to develop, and mostly up to our north. This is 3 p.m., uh, so we'll start to see some showers probably moving into Santa Cruz. Notice this. A lot of the rain-shadowed areas, including the Salinas Valley, really not seeing much out of this until probably well after dark. Uh, so if you've got plans on Christmas Day outside, probably the, uh, well, at least a good majority of us will do okay. Although up in Santa Cruz, the best chance for rain, again, coming in probably midday into the afternoon. Then by 8 or 9 o'clock, better chances for everybody seeing some light rainfall with that south wind. And then that comes through overnight. And by, again, Saturday morning, we're pretty much done. We've got leftover clouds, maybe some mist, some drizzle, and a passing shower. But the rest of Saturday should remain dry. And you can see the rain amounts. They're not very impressive for the first system. Maybe a third to a half an inch up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Could be a little bit more in the higher peaks. You can see that little bit of a bullseye there uh, for maybe three quarters to an inch. And then maybe a, a tenth to a third around Santa Cruz down in the lowlands around the, uh, the bay, a tenth to a quarter. So this is not looking like a big deal. As we said earlier, not really that concerned with the Santa Cruz Mountains for this system. But the Sunday system is looking quite a bit stronger than that, so we'll get to that tomorrow. 34 to 45 overnight. We're not going to be as cold tonight because we have cloud cover over the area, but again, it's still going to be chilly, certainly mid-30s, upper 30s for the colder spots, low 40s around the bay. Tomorrow, mid-50s to low 60s, a day that looks very much like this afternoon did with a lot of overcast with a slight chance of a passing shower. Otherwise, it's just a lot of cloud cover. Temperatures right around the 60-degree mark for just about everybody. A little colder, though, up in the Santa Cruz Mountains where they've been averaging middle and upper 50s. So let's take you through the holiday weekend. Uh, we get into, again, Christmas Eve will be dry through the night, and then Friday we have the rain developing on Christmas. Later part of the day, again, the more problematic part of the day. Saturday, probably dry with cloud cover. Couldn't rule out a shower, but not looking like much. Then Sunday, that second system, which looks to be the stronger one, rain developing Sunday, Sunday night into Monday. We'll talk more about that again tomorrow. Overnight lows, mostly 30s and 40s, with rain likely on Christmas night and then again on Sunday night. So some good chances of rain, and uh, hopefully we'll make some headway, Dan, on this so far dismal rain yeah. year. Okay. Yeah, let's take a look at our weather quiz. All right. Tomorrow, the sun will set one minute what? Earlier or later than today? Uh, that would be later. Because yeah. after Monday, we're yes. now gaining. Days are getting longer, but, you know. Not by really a lot. The, not by a lot. <laughs> It'll take about a month probably before you notice anything. All right. Yeah. Very good. You're welcome. Thanks, Lee.